Alright everyone, what is going on and welcome back to today's video. On today's video we are here with Outer Worlds number 7. Um, I just want to make this clear, the last two episodes I recorded did not have audio. Um, that was my fault. I turned the audio off to record that Elden Ring, uh, that Elden Ring video. And I'm recording this these the day after and I did not remember to turn it back on. So I decided to make opportunity of that and I go, I'm going to upload them as no commentary videos. Just to see if that's what people prefer. Um, if it does any different, do people really like the sound of my voice? Does my voice make it better? Is watching a game with no commentary just to solely enjoy the game better? I don't know. But it seems out those two videos were recorded, I did not want to put them to waste. Um, I, I probably could have put them to waste, but it also kind of just skipping two episodes worth of stuff would kind of just completely ruin the whole fluidity of a playthrough. So I didn't want to leave them out. Yes, my voice won't be in those two. But the gameplay is still there. I'll edit out all the loading screens since my voice isn't there. And it would just be pure gameplay. Um, I don't know. I, I understand why that wouldn't do well. But generally, whenever I'm doing hashtags for my videos, no commentary is always the m number one thing that comes up when you're looking up a playthrough of games. So, I decided to put that to the experimentation for those two Outer Worlds episodes. It will not happen again. Uh, I don't see why I'd end up muting my mic ever again now that I've finished. It was only for that Elden Ring boss fight because it was that beautiful and it was an end boss and it was an ending, the ending that I got was a rare one. So I just wanted to record that and put it on YouTube even though I know people have already put it on YouTube. I just wanted to do it for myself because why not? It might do well, it might not. But I just want to make that clear. I really do apologize. Uh, there was about eight minutes into this third episode is when I realized um, there was, the only main thing, really, is I had a conversation with Pavati, unfortunately I'm not going to be able to include it really without make, it not making any sense, but there was a conversation with Pavati that I, yeah, she pretty much said she thinks that I should not kill Edgewater. There's, there's the option here is if you were watching the last two episodes, you don't need my voice to know where we're at in, this, in the game story, it's to reroute power to Edgewater or to the Botanical Gardens, and realistically, what you do here does not matter. This is the prologue. I'm just thinking back from my first experiences. It does not matter what you do here. It 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 doesn't. It you finish with this area. You go off on your space journey. Once you get that ship re like fixed, Pavadi comes with you. All is well. Um. Yeah. There's no. There's nothing wrong. There's no wrong choice with what you do here. Um, Pavadi, obviously, being from Edgewater, doesn't want you to murder, or not murder, but kill Edgewater. Not the people in it, just kill Edgewater. Um, honestly, I'm pretty sure I did... Now that I'm thinking back, I killed... Um, I rerouted power from the Botanical Gardens in my first playthrough. So I think I'm going to reroute it from Edgewater in this playthrough, just to see what happens. Maybe it might end up well. Maybe it won't. I don't like Edgewater. I don't think Edgewater deserves it. Uh, sorry for this long ass intro, but I just kind of had to do a quick recap. Seems that the last two episodes didn't have any of me speaking. But that doesn't mean, yeah, it really, if anyone is actually watching this series, you don't need my voice to know where we're at in the game. The game still explains that without me commentating it. With that said, that's all I really have to say. Please do leave a like on this video if you enjoy it. Let me know if you want, if you prefer the commentary or not. Um, if you don't, let me know. Um, no commentary videos, I'd be happy to do that. They're definitely, well, it's no different really. It just means I don't have to talk while I play. Um, and I can save that for streaming. But it just depends on what people want to see. Now that we'd put that in the experiment, I guess it's some sort of trial. We'll see how it goes. The videos do absolutely terribly. I'll never do it again. But with that said, um, also leave a subscription on the channel if you want to stay up to date with all these daily videos. And my Twitch stream is in the link down below. We're playing Elden Ring over there at the moment. I doubt, actually, I doubt we'll be playing Elden Ring by the time this video goes up. But still, we will definitely still be making some sort of progress uh, in a game on the Twitch stream. And if you want to hear me 100% commentating games, no, no, no silence gameplay. That is the place to be. Um, and the link is in the description down below. With that said, and now that we've got, we've gone over my decision, we're going to redirect power to the botanical laboratory. There you go. I'm guessing Pavadi's going to disagree. I can't stop thinking much about the captain. I'm glad the deserters are going to be alright now they got power, but what about the town? All those people. Um, Thomas seemed very fond of you. Uh, yeah, I'll say that. He's just interested in fixing stuff. 
He always used to follow me around, asking me to explain what I was doing. Like a puppy, kind of. Uh, I've not lately seen a man with a bigger or more obvious crush. Are you sure? He nearly fell over when he saw you. <laughs> the tool he was thinking with was definitely... Uh, that's fuck. Uh, he nearly fell over... Yeah, I'll say that. He never told me a word to that effect. And, and since he didn't, I didn't have to say nothing about being... About feeling different. And nothing had to get weird. If he wants to learn about engineering, you should help him get those data pads he wants. I'd like to do that for him. Um, you mean about the mission being too clean? Then it's supposed to be clean. It's a church. Uh, in the bar, you asked if I was a drinker. Sorry. I know it's none of my business. Uh, I don't make a habit of... I'm going to guess you're not a drinker yourself. Strong drink makes me sick. And it makes me real sad. I start thinking about things I oughtn't, and then... Well, never mind that. You got better things to think on. Sorry. Uh, don't apologize. Oh, that's what I do. You'll tire of it soon enough. Uh, you miss said the mission was too clean. It's a church, isn't it supposed to be? I know, but... Vicar says the universe is a machine. That it runs by law. Real machines have gunked up oil. Scratches. And worn bits. You can tell they've seen handling. Been used by folk. The machine Vicar sees is one ain't never been run. It, it's not for people to live in. It's something on a museum shelf, under glass. You're a mechanic. Whenever you see a machine, it's in need of fixing. It's an ideal. It's an ideal, not what we live in, but we strive for. Uh, I'll say that. Fixing the universe is a job for somebody way better than the likes of me. Let's get back to it. All right. Well, there you go. That is the main mission. Uh, Return to read. I'm sure he'll be happy about that. Retrieve the power regulator. Um, so both of them require essentially going back to Edgewater now. I want to get this. Uh, I don't even know if this is still possible now. But the logic module. Now I'm thinking. I need to go back down to the security chief. See I don't know where the security chief is. I feel like I've pillaged this place quite well. Uh, I didn't mean to pick that up. But. I guess I got it now. Um, I don't know where this dude could even be that I haven't been yet. Um, security chief. I'm guessing he's dead. Oh, well, there's a bar there. Maybe this is what we're looking for. Oh, I've already been through here. It'll be wasted this place. Oh, there you go. Modify behavior. Uh, select a new mode. Select a new target. Well, I've kind of already killed all of them, so I don't think there's much use in what I just did. But, anyway, I'll take it. Security Chief, where you at? He's gotta be... He's gotta be somewhere. Like, he obviously exists. Yeah, not. I don't know what's in there, but I feel like it's not worth all of that. I may be wrong. I hope I'm not, but that's the decision. It's not this guy. I don't think it's this guy. I suppose we can check... Because, uh, I don't know, doubling back and doing things doesn't feel as unnecessary now that the other two episodes were kind of, like, out of touch with the rest of the playthrough, I suppose. Um, let's go down and check, though, I suppose. We'll ask him. Maybe he's got it down here. This dude was a mechanic, though. I don't What's think he had anything to do with... The tail. Definitely start with the tail. If you're feeling adventurous, the ears are a particular delicacy. Uh, that's great. <laughs> Mechanicals lost their bolts. Opened fire on anything that moved. It was pandemonium. That's horrible. How could this happen? You mean, why did the Mechanicals go on a murderous rampage? Same reason any of us do, I suppose. The voices told them to do it. I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out. Um, yeah, right. Well, the security chief doesn't seem to be down here. I'm guessing there's a room that probably says security that I'm meant to find. And I would like to find it before I leave because it's for a quest. And I love doing quests. <laughs> um, yeah, these side quests are fun. Um, I haven't f I haven't found any boredom in doing the side quests yet. Um, so, I would like to get that done at the very least. Where is... 
a security chief's office that there. Where would it, would I, where would I locate this? Surely there's a big door that says security somewhere that I can kind of estimate. Um, maybe it's on one of those hacked computers that I couldn't hack. Could be the case. Isn't that not a bypass shunt? I thought that was. Yeah. Well, it isn't. I don't know. I'm just trying to take guesses at this point. I'm, if I don't find it, then I always can come back. I don't really want to leave a task unfinished, though. It's not. I don't like doing that. Um, I'm just trying to think where on earth I could look for this said item. Like, this is the only place, really, where I've found dead plant workers. And they're just plant workers, they're not security chiefs. So who knows where this thing could be, honestly. So downstairs areas to this that I haven't... Maybe there's something down here? I don't think so, though. That place was a dead end. This place just leads into the next room with the... There yeah, with that, I was gonna say. If there's a box there, we've already been there too. This is the security office here. Okay. I feel like I'm, I'm meant to lockpick something that I can't lockpick. Like I, it's maybe in in here. It's just on the opposite side of what I'm looking for. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like. Uh, maybe this will be something. Okay, there we go. That just update my. Oh no! Hold on. We got a new. Okay, sorry. Sorry for back and forth thing, but where I should have read them. I, I'm sorry. It was a waste of time. There you go. Here he is. Okay, we're in. There you go. I was probably in that room. I went straight past him. So all you gotta do is read. Okay, I knew there'd be a way to get it. I knew there'd be a way to get it. I will take that. Thank you very much. A grenade launcher? Sign me up. I'm not over encumbered, am I? No, I'm not. Beautiful. Okay, we're ready to go now, I think. Uh, return to Ludwig, return to Thomas. We'll return to Thomas first. Uh, let me just find the door out of here. Here we go. Okay, we'll return to Thomas first, and then we'll uh, approach... We'll go back to Edgewater, obviously. Um, we'll, we'll talk to Adelaide as well while we're there. Uh, it's not part of our quest or anything, but there might be some dialogue there that we unlocked after saving her area maybe even reed will be there for all i know i'm not exactly gonna check because they all might have shifted over that way because edgewater got wasted i really don't know we will have to find out and there was no option to convince her to leave except obviously through force by taking away her power so i don't know i just wanted to do something like in fallout opposite to what i did the first time i played and as i said what I remember, this starting area does not matter in a short amount of time. Like, this is just a prologue, essentially. Uh, a very long prologue. Maybe not, yeah, I don't know if prologue is the word, but yeah, I don't know. Let's go to the Botanical Gardens either way, though. And go talk to Kenneth. Adjust, please. Thank you. Why was that so hard? I was saying in the other episode, obviously my voice wasn't heard before. This guy reminds me of Pops uh, from regular show. Uh, any type of moonhead dude, I suppose, kind of resembles Pops. It seems our Pops is just the most iconic. Just, yeah, it's just hard to beat, essentially. Place doesn't look any more populated, but it is. Well, it will be, maybe after I go back. Anyway, let's talk to Thomas. Any luck finding one of those manuals? I did. Here you go. No kidding! The elusive part three, someone stash it away inside the old geothermal plant. The geothermal plant? Now that is just incredible! You really went exploring down there? Adelaide always told us it was swarming with hostile mechanicals. That's a complete set! All three parts! I'm gonna be the greatest engineer Halcyon's ever seen! Um, aside from you, Ms. Parvati, I swear. I'll do you proud. I'm glad we could help, Thomas. I've been saving something for you. Uh, just a little contraption I found. 
Should fit right into your outfit. Yeah, I should go. Let me just quickly check my inventory because I've been getting quest items that have kind of probably been sidelining. Uh, maybe not. That thing can go. I don't even need that anymore. 73. It's just nothing compared to the 89, 142. See, that's le that's got some sort of legendary effect that makes it half decent by the looks of it. Alright, otherwise, we look like we're ready to progress. I'm going to go talk to Adelaide, though. Hopefully, she's still in here. Yeah, there she is. Let's see what she has to say. You hear that? That low, pleasant hum of electricity? It whispers across the veil like the winds of change. You've done well. I would have paid my last five bits to see the look on Reed's face when the last lamp in town burnt out and the cannery fell to silence. Um, you really have it in for Reed? What happens now? Time's come to look toward the future. We'll grow, I expect. A lot of workers out there with nowhere else to go. Um, I'm not sure I made the right decision. You don't sound too pleased. I don't look forward to turning folk away. Camp's gotta stay pure, though. Can't have what? desperate loyalists mixing with us, no matter how desperate they may be. I am curious. Why did you help us? You don't know who we are. You don't owe us a thing. The plant's crawling with mechanicals, so it stands to reason you risked your life. I don't like the idea of being Reed's lackey. You're not quite like anyone else I've met. You haven't had your consciousness programmed by the board. You're welcome among us if you're ever so inclined. Ah, uh, she's turning you people away. Here. I don't know if I'm rocking with that. I thought she'd accept people, but... I suppose not. Let's go find out. Let's go back to... Uh, first things first, I would like to go here. I'm not sure if you can fast travel out there. You can. You can. Okay, let's fast travel to the landing pad, and then we'll go in. Uh, that place will be dead dark, though. I don't even know if he'll still be here. He might be mad because I took his power and, like, unleash his... Robot wrath on me or some bullshit. I don't know. I definitely prefer to commentate. I'm not even gonna lie. It just feels like it's more in touch. Well, it doesn't look any different from out here, honestly. It's not like a dark zone now. Town's been dark a while now. Could be a mechanical trying to sabotage us. Definitely. I found one in the geothermal plant. Bang up, work soldier. You're a credit to your uniform. Oh, that reminds me. Got to look into getting us a uniform. We're done. Let's go. So this is it then. The key to humanity's victory over the mechanical hordes. I would reward you with the gratitude of the resistance, but I'm guessing you want something tactile. So here's a couple bits for your trouble. And a little something to remember me by. Take care. Alright, he over encumbered me. Great. No, he didn't. Did he? No, I don't think he did. Hold on. No, he didn't. Okay. Uh, what did he give me? A, sh a legendary shock stick. Alright, I'll catch you later. Let's put that on. Why not? It's got some sort of legendary effect. It has to be half decent. Alright, let's go talk to Mr. Reed. Either way, you're gonna end up. I guess giving it to Edgewater, which is obviously the massive town with a lot more resources, should have been the way I took it. You're right. But, as I said, I just wanted to do something different. Shutting the town down seems intriguing. And as I said, uh, and I'll say it again, once you fly out of this place, I don't believe you have to come back. You are done. <laughs> so, it does not really matter, to be completely honest. Looks like people are writing. How do I get the power regulator? That's down underneath. Well, I'll do that after I talk to him. What are we supposed to do now? Exercise patience and contemplate the scriptures. Oh, it's you. Reed told me I should be expecting you. He's inside. Okay. You picked a fine time to visit, stranger. 
I'm guessing you're the foreman. I'd like to talk to you about Eugene. I paid his burial fees, didn't I? Let the dead sleep. Found your letter to Conrad. Didn't anyone ever tell you not to go rifling through other people's correspondence? You were planning on stealing Eugene's gold teeth. Didn't I tell her to do that? Excuse you. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein already belong to Spacer's Choice. And we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Never mind. I don't have to explain myself to you. Fair enough. Well, none of them like me, so I might as well be a dickhead. <laughs> Alright, Reed. Uh, he's down at the regulator, I assume. Here he is. You want to know what gets my bile churning? Edgewater has suffered a cavalcade of disasters. Plague, marauders, desertion. Then you wandered in town. And I was so damn sure our luck was starting to turn. I never knew how right I was. Just answer one question for me. Why'd you do it? Um. It's not personal. I need your power regulator. That power regulator is company property. Whatever you were hoping to find down here, I advise you to turn around and leave. I have got guards posted with orders to fire on you. I'm um, cool if you guards. I don't want them bleeding all over my power regulator. <laughs> I'm sorry about this read. I'll try it. All right, easy now. Let's not do anything we'll regret. I'll order my guards to stand down. Take what you came for and then leave us be. Look, that's not the character I want to be. The dickhead. But... Um, I just want to look around, see if there's anything else in here. Ow! That hurt my legs? That's fucked. Alright, well, instead of taking their power regulator, I'm taking his. That's the only difference, I feel like. See, he didn't even... I just... Literally... Act like a dickhead to him and he just stood down. I'll be taking that. Alright, return to the unreliable. That's that's it. That's all I have left. I completed everything else. There you go. We are ready to get a move on. And we will. Let me just put some skills in there. My stealth is down. Why is my stealth down? Because of the heavy armor? That makes sense. Uh, dialogue. Let's get Intimidate to 40. Uh, I think at this point, I don't know how long I'm going to be using melee weapons for, to be fair. I, I really don't. Let's put... Port, yeah, we'll do that and then that. That'll do for now. You can command your companions to use their special abilities. Okay. Yep, all we have left is to return to the unreliable. Can I fast travel from indoor in this game? Or is... No, you can't. Okay. Let's get out then. Where's Rita? I put my whole life in that cannery. You must be very proud. <laughs> hey, right. Well... I completely wasted this city. It's official. Uh, do I have to leave? No, sorry. Region. There we go. Where is the unreliable? Over there. Alright. Looks like we're going to get to our... Uh, space travel on the way. I was trying to think of the right way to word that. I just couldn't think. I really am, I just keep thinking about how those videos are going to be no commentary based. Like, yeah, I'm going to use it as an experiment, I suppose, but I just, I don't feel like it'll work. Especially not on a game that came out so long ago. Maybe on a game that came out last week, but not on this. So does Vardy come with me? I guess so. Is this your ship? Oh my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship. Working on a real engine. Belonging to a proper crew. Edgewater won't last another season without power, but... That don't change the fact that I'm indentured to Spacer's Choice. Company expects me 
Back at my post. Uh, those deserters left Edgewater behind. Nothing's keeping you from doing the same. Um, yeah, I'll say that. I have imagined it, but until you came along, I never thought I had the choice. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. But can I come with you? I could tend to your engine. I know my G valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? Um. You just met me. Why would you want to go into. I don't know who the hell would say that. Pick a cabin, it's yours. Yes! I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, mister. Captain. I can call you Captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a captain. Fair enough. Alright, old mate's on the ship too. The Vicar. Here he is. Well, I certainly am looking forward to flying on a ship named the Unreliable. I'll just head upstairs and claim a room. Okay. By verity, by strength. What are we contemplating today? Uh, I'd I like to know something about those I'm flying with. What's your story? I wanted to ask you about that book. Any ideas where you can find someone who speaks French in this colony? I've been thinking on that. There's a former associate. Uh, infamous philosopher scholar who fled Terra 2 some years ago. He's an expert on Bakonu. He's also who told me of the journal's presence in Emerald Vale. If anyone in this colony could translate that book, it would be him. Uh, that sounds like a good lead, but how do we find him? That's a good question. We should start on the Groundbreaker. It's where I'd go if I wanted to get off Terra 2. Great place to pick up a ride to Hephaestus, Scylla, even Monarch. All I need is access to a data cartridge from the security terminal. Their easily hackable system keeps a registry of all crew manifests for both arrivals and departures. Okay. How will a crew manifest help us track down? How is that? Yeah, that's a good question. Before I transferred to Edgewater, I had a wealth of time to develop certain uh, secular skills during my years serving a particular penitentiary flock. I meditated, led sermons, provided guidance to the inmates as needed, of course. I also played prison yard toss ball and taught myself a bit about computronic security systems. Sounds good, let's go. How will the crew manifest help us track down? Uh, sounds good, let's go. Yeah. Thank you, Captain. Okay. We have the power regulator. Vardy's here. Uh, she's my companion at the moment, though. Let's talk Captain, to Ada. I have detected that the town of Edgewater is now without power. I appreciate you doing your part to hasten their demise. <laughs> what can I do for you, Captain? Uh, I have a power regulator. Do you know how to install a power regulator? Um, yeah, I know what I'm doing. Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our engine room is located behind you, across the cargo bay, up the ladders. I'll be back. Alright, let's go install this, and, and then it's pretty much time for space, space flight. The, the true outer worlds, I suppose. Is Favati still following me around, or? Yeah, she does. I was gonna say, maybe when we're inside, she just goes and does her own thing. There we go. I do want to go up. I'm guessing this is the cabins up here. Let's see what else. Well, that, no one's in that one yet. He's in the common room. Can he not go in them? Maybe not yet. I don't know. Just try and get familiar with the ship. It looks like it's just two floors. And then I loop back down. Yeah, nothing special. Why am I picking locks on my own ship? Well, let's do it. Not even anything good. That's just devastating. What can I do for you, Captain? Uh, I've installed the power regulator. All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. Um, let's get out of here.
And there you go. We're back in the sky. Essentially the first area complete. I did every side quest I could find. Uh, I made the decision. I got all the loot I could. I'd say we're quite well established to ascend into space. With that said, the challenge only gets harder from here and the stuff to do only gets longer from here. Pretty sure we go to the the main colony next. I may be wrong there. The space of choice colony. We received a communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Oh, here we go. Uh, good. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any, uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. Um, I've been feeling a little lightheaded. Also, I can slow down time. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, uh, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the ground breaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Uh, fine, I'll go have a word with Gladys. Why do I need a nav key to land on the planet? Slow down, you're asking me to get involved with the black market. I could put a couple light years between me and Halcyon. <laughs> Can't I land somewhere outside? Uh, yeah, I'll ask that. In theory, I suppose you could land your ship in Cascadia. And, in theory, I suppose you might survive the experience. Cascadia is utterly seething with dangerous, highly aggressive creatures more than capable of tearing you limb from limb. You'd have to be a lunatic to land in Cascadia, and I'm reasonably certain I tested your brain for incipient signs of insanity. Trust me, talk to Gladys Cult Kelly. Um... Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys called Kelly. Fair enough. Uh, fine, I'll go over with her. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design, cutting-edge technology years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the captain's quarters. Uh, I'll put it to good use, thanks. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Um, got it. Alright, well there you go. That's where we're going to save though. Um, I think that's a fair place to save. As you can see, we are four hours in at the moment. And just a comparison, my last playthrough, the whole game took me nine hours and thirty-five minutes. <laughs> I rushed the hell out of that. Um, we're nearly halfway through that playthrough already and we haven't even made it to the second area. So with that said, that's me for today. Thank you for checking this video out. Hopefully the commentary return is a good thing, not a bad thing, but please do let me know. And also, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, drop some notification bell. Also make sure to come check out my Twitch stream. Link's description down below. I'd love to see you guys there. And with that said, that's all I have to say. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.